This morning we are headed to Japan. has been watching my neighbor Totoro uh, the last few days. We're really excited about it. We are renting a car and traveling around the Kyushu Island. I'm gonna give him some time. Yeah, good idea. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Ron? He's doing really good. I can't believe they just get foreigners cars over here. Oh, third person. Mm -hmm. Take ticket. Take ticket. No but to get there, we're going to take a ferry from Busan. So this morning we are going to go and head to the airport to get to Busan and then get a taxi to the ferry and then get on the ferry to Japan. So we'll talk to you in a little bit. So we had a short, less than an hour flight from Jeju Airport to Busan. We just got out of Busan. We were kind of looking at our options to get to the ferry terminal. We could take a bus or the like train. Um, we're gonna take a taxi just because it's only like 11 kilometers away and there's a bunch of transfers if we're taking the train or the bus. So it just seems, it'll be pretty cheap. It'll be like less than 30 bucks. And we'll have a bag and stuff there. But how are you feeling about getting a ferry? I think we should get there. Okay. Get there. Sweep all the way over. We arrived at the terminal. It definitely has like an airport vibe. Feels. Definitely. Yeah. Feels just like an airport. So I guess it'll be. Same thing. It seems like I was a little bit nervous booking it and then taking a ferry because I've never taken a ferry internationally before. But uh, we did it because, I mean, if it's there, I assume people do that. I'm feeling much more comfortable about it now. The Queen Beetle is the name of the ferry that we're taking, but it looks like it's not. Like, we're here really early. I think you have to be here an hour to two hours early. We're here, like, three, four hours early. Yeah, check-in so, starts in an hour. Yeah. So we're three hours early. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, two hours early at best. But we wanted to come and get some food anyway. Put mussels and clams and oysters. We are inside the food court. Really nice window. It's not very busy, I think, because we are so early. And we ordered a pork cutlet, a cheese cutlet, and a beef rib soup. The cutlets are always a safe bet in Korea because they don't have a lot of spice in them and the kids will eat them. There's lots of really good food, but a lot of it can be a bit spicy for the kids. And I'm not confident enough to order things without spice, but the cutlets are usually a pretty safe bet. So we're going to have that now. And then I uh, wander around the terminal. Okay, so we just checked in and we were able to choose our seats. I think that you could reserve online, but I didn't pay for that. But we reserved seats. Um, I wasn't sure how this worked anyway. You can get like aisle, window. There was actually a table option. So we went for the table so we could all sit around and kids can draw or whatever. So that'll be fun. Um, we are checking in at 1.30. Definitely come two hours beforehand if you are taking a ferry. And so they're putting people through now. We're gonna be able to go through security here. Um, at 1.30 in half an hour, so I'm gonna run downstairs to the 7-Eleven and grab some snacks and a few things for the trip. So it should be fun. Going through security was just like an airport. Um, the whole experience really felt like once we were like coming and going from the, on the, the ferry, felt like an airport, like going through immigration and everything, getting our bags checked. So that was all very standard. When we were coming in, he was handing out grab all to everybody very kindly, like it was candy. Um, I did ask him for kids grab all. We all took some, and everybody seemed to just pass out all at once. Thank you. Do you need a water, please, for the counters? 39D? 39C? Okay. Oh, and don't let me think that's. 
Finally leaving the terminal. It took a little while to get through immigration. It was exactly the same as coming off a plane. But we're in Fukuoka. Everything is closed because it's after seven. So we did not buy an ESIM, but Dominic has the directions to the hotel screenshotted on his phone because he was able to get on the Wi-Fi and I wasn't. So we're gonna try to get there. It's gonna take about 20 minutes to walk. If you can believe it, we're not exactly sure where we're going. We're doing our best. I think that to say that that check-in experience was was it the worst check-in experience? That was the worst check-in experience I've ever had. They've got tablets from 1999 before tablets were invented to check in down there by yourself. We were getting flashbacks of like T9 texting, except it was just going M M M M M M M M M M M. It was um, it was not a lot of fun, but uh, we made it. And then like the door wouldn't open for me, <laughs> sliding door. I got trapped outside. Oh, it has the futon mats. That's good. All right. Uh, this has been a really long day. It's been a little bit tough. Um, it was about a 20 minute walk from the ferry terminal. So that was not great because it was, you know, it's been tough. Maybe we should have taken a cab, but we didn't. We're here. The kids are okay. We're pretty hungry. We haven't eaten supper yet. We want to drop off our bags. That check-in experience really put a damper on the mood. But anyway, we're going to go try to get some food. And tomorrow is a new day. We are... <laughs> Rather than going out for ramen like we had originally planned, I went out and got some sandwiches and some snacks and things for tomorrow. And we're just gonna have a family mart dinner because it's pretty late and we had a long day. So we're hanging out, we're watching some sort of Godzilla movie in Japanese. And um, it's just a version I've never heard of before. So I think it might be only a Japan release. But I'm having my chicken teriyaki and egg sandwich. Not bad. Mine's ham and cucumber. It's so good. The bread is always so soft. It's like really nice. Two limbs. It is day two in Japan and we woke up feeling much better today. I just wanted to share that last night when I got here I saw that there was a washing machine and I used the bathroom dryer so they hung up just in here and I pressed this button here and they dry really fast. Uh, like you can close the door over and then the room gets really hot and blows air everywhere and then your clothes dry really, really fast. So I'm gonna make an obligatory video here. Uh, our toilet room, like little water closet we have, has the toilet and when you flush it, the water comes out of here and you can rinse your hands before you go over to the other bathroom and wash your hands. And I just think that's so cool. So the water is the water that's filling up the tank for the next flush. It's a rainy day. We will be out exploring a little bit, but it is quite rainy. We have got a rental car rented for pickup at noon. We are gonna walk. We could take a taxi, but we've been here. We haven't really seen anything yet. And that's part of the adventure, I think, is to kind of wander around. And like the kids are gonna walk that far but then they're gonna be in a car, so they'll be fine. So we're gonna push them a bit this morning. The weather's not the greatest, but we'll get to see a little bit. We got an hour and a half before we pick up the car anyway, so. Suffering is fun. Yeah. Sort of. 
it is. It's having Daddy suffered is that. grace. That's right. So we're going to go and have these memories. Character building walk. <laughs> That's right. right. You're probably going to be seeing this from my phone or Dominic's phone because it's too rainy to have the cameras out. Anyway, we'll see you on the road. After a full hour in trying to get the car rented. It's on the other side. <laughs> oh, it's so weird. Uh, yeah, after a full hour of just watching like people come and go and then like packing cars in and out of this little garage, um, it was a bit wild. And then our number like came and went. We were 80. And that came and Dominic got up and they were all just like, oh no. Um, we realized that they were like using an iPad to have an interpreter like Zoom called in to, to help us. Anyway, after a very long time, we're in the car. You have to put the phone number into the place on didn't here. Work. That didn't work, so we managed to get somewhere. It's in English. Oh, man. So, we're hoping to get out of Fukuoka and stay at a little Ryokin. Anyway, I'm turning right. Dominic's That's the hard turn to do on this side of the road. Okay, so I'm going to go to the far side. Rice. What a really smooth acceleration on this beast. Turn left. Oh, Turn I go right. the exact wrong way. They just tell me it's a different route than Google. Mm -hmm. Just a lot slower. Google. This is turn right, but this is turn left. Turn right. Can I turn left on a red light? I'm gonna give him some time. He's doing really good. I can't believe they just get foreigners' cars over here. So they beat them, right? Yeah. You can't go because it's a green, green crossing light. But there's no red lights. Oh yeah. There's a red light. Yeah, there's a red light up there. Yeah, buddy, I know. There's a taxi behind me doing the same thing. How can they be mad? Turning left. So turning left means I can say coastline. Turning left is like turning right. <laughs> yeah, that's helpful. <laughs> but following, following that boy car, I guess. That's a, that's a Hello. driving with impunity. Um, they gave us a ticket and we don't know what to do with it. We assume that we'll find out later. It feels like a video game when like they give you something. And you're like, save this key for later. And you don't know what's gonna happen, but eventually you figure it out on a side quest or your main quest or, but. Home bundled over for me. a lot of lines there. Some of them are repeated, so who knows. Yeah, different than Malaysia. Yeah. The level of English is definitely that. The car rental place was not efficient. We were there for over an hour, made an appointment to get there at 12 to get our car. Mm -hmm. And we worked out the door and in the car until about 1.15, I think. So, uh, not super efficient. What was cool though is that they have an 
interpreters that they can call to speak with foreigners. So there was a Chinese guy ahead of us, and they got a Chinese interpreter on for him. Yeah. In a minute. In a minute. Uh, and for me, they got an English guy, or you know, I think he was Indian, but he spoke English and Japanese, so he could translate for both of us. So very cool. That, that was convenient. Yes. But, uh, everything else. Everything else is not very efficient. It felt really wild in there, actually. It was super actually. busy. Yeah. It was so busy. And they were just like, it was like the garage fits like five cars, and they just kind of like, like they take the cars out, and then more come in, and they take them out, and more come in, and yeah. people are just coming through, and with all their bags and stuff. But. We're getting pretty close to where we want to stop and have lunch. Um, it's like two kilometers away, Hita. <laughs> Kids are enjoying themselves, they're being pretty good. Um, the further we got out of the city, you now we're seeing like the mountains and the mist coming up and there's a few cherry trees in bloom. Lots of bamboo. Lots of bamboo, we're going like in like tunnels under mountains and stuff, it's really cool. So, now that we're out of the city and driving on the highway it's uh it's quite exciting well exciting in a different way a more pleasurable way <laughs> dominic's looking for a restaurant we stopped in hita we decided to what is that noise to the car wasn't me. Wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's singing. Um, we stopped in Hita and we are. We found parking first and then we're gonna walk around and see if we can find a restaurant to eat some lunch. <laughs> All right. We haven't uh, formally introduced you to our chariot for the week. What kind of car is it? A Suzuki Fox? Our wagon, I think. <laughs> our oh. wagon. Um, it is, it's kind of big inside and small on the outside, which is like, where is the actual motor and everything? But, um, yeah, it's something. We're wandering around Kita. It is so pretty here. And we found this little park, so we're just kind of wandering around, seeing it. Ah, and there's like little shrines and stuff here. I'm gonna go up and look, check it out. There's a whole bunch of holes in like the side of the cliff face oh, there. It goes pretty deep and you can tell that it kind of curves off. Isn't this nice? We can see this like beautiful view. It's really quiet and just it's so beautiful in here. And it has stopped raining, but you can hear all the birds. It's a really nice temperature. There's nobody around. It's just so serene and beautiful. So this is what I was really hoping for with renting a car is that we'd be able to go and kind of see, find these little hidden spots to just kind of enjoy the nature of Japan. So after leaving that park, we walked just across the river and we stumbled across this really pretty, must be a very like touristy street. I'll have to look up the name of it, but it's really clean. There's a bunch of shops, some music playing all over it. It's a lot of tourists, but it's really, really nice. These houses have like their own, their own bridges. They could bring him up if they wanted to cut you off. I have to look up the name of the train, but that's one of the uh, like the fancy passenger trains that like takes you on a kind of a tour of the countryside. So I guess this, this is one of the places that it goes through. And Harry Potter's on that train, according to these two. Okay, 
Dominic picked out this ramen spot that we were walking around to and it was so good. Yeah, there delicious. Was, <laughs> yeah, it was. Um, there was a really elderly couple that must have had the spot for years. And in the radius, minimum. Yeah, minimum for sure. But um, I almost felt bad ordering because I feel Didn't like at home <laughs> no one would be working at that age. But I suppose that they they're working because they want to be working. Um, but uh, it was it was really good. They it came out really fast. One thing I wish that I had done was learn at least a little bit of Japanese. Um, totally took for granted. We've been you know living in Korea and traveling to places that were really English friendly and. Oh, no, hi. it's not our umbrella. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, she was trying to give it to us. Oh, so sweet. Oh, well, she just came out and tried to give us an umbrella. She's so sweet. But um, I was trying to show pictures on my phone of what we wanted, but you know, I don't know. I couldn't really zoom in yeah. to show what it was. And so I was able to say like ramen and yakisoba, but that's that's what we got. We got a ramen dish and a yakisoba dish. But this spot apparently uses like local chickens. Um, the ramen was really light style ramen. It had like a white broth. It wasn't Kids really greasy. Destroyed it though. They ate so Kids much. <laughs> Jeannie Martin, was like, Martin finished and said that was glorious. <laughs> <he did. laughs> and Jeannie, she kept like eating more and then drinking all of the broth. Like she yeah. was ravenous and she was like, where's Where's there? There's no more left. You know, like angry when it was done. Yeah. And then the yakisoba was like, it was that really was awesome. tasty. That was really good. Really, if I really would go good. Back, I'd get the yakisoba over the ramen. Mm -hmm. But both were excellent. But for the kids, they loved the ramen. Yeah. It was really good, but our kids absolutely destroyed it. More so, I've seen than any other meal. Yeah. So it was really, really good. So if you're in Hita, you check out this little spot. But check out the menu and figure out how to order it properly yeah. before you go in. Definitely like worth us. the walk. Yeah, absolutely. It was really good. It was a whirlwind couple of days between taking a plane and a ferry and trying to rent a car and then trying to navigate the streets. But when we were originally planning this trip, we were thinking about flying into Osaka and going to Kyoto. But because of the flights being sold out, we ended up settling on this idea of taking a ferry and renting a car. And we're so glad that we did. We would have never gone down to these smaller places and ate at this restaurant and seen the countryside or seen that park. So we're really grateful for how it had turned out so far. And that night we got to our hotel, we ate at that restaurant, but we'll tell you more about that in our video next week. Good morning, Martin and I ventured out to have a little look around. It is still raining, so we don't get the full view, but it's still really epic. It's really, really beautiful here. Some really pretty birds, nice view. We can hear the, uh, the river. Martin noticed that all of the cars in the parking lot are the exact same car. So we've chosen the most popular car in Japan. <laughs> 